Hi guys, so I wanted to do a little IGTV to show you how I would cut the lace front of a wig and stick it to my noggin. Uni Wigs have very kindly sent me this gorgeous gal who is still yet to be named. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because all my wigs need a name. This is a Harper Remy lace front human hair um, wig in the colour Toffee which is usually a little bit darker than I'd go because my pre-cancer hair was super blonde. It's growing back really dark. So this is actually probably a quite nice in the middle. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I chop the wig, probably pluck a couple of the hairs because there's a couple of dark ones at the front and glue her to my head. So let's get started. <laughs> So this is her straight out of the box. I haven't styled her or done anything only because I prefer styling it on my head. I'm more used to styling hair on my noggin than on one of the stands. So once I've glued it, I will then style it. To start cutting it, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. The smaller, the better. Usually I quite like those little silver nail scissors, but I can't find them. So these are gonna have to do. You want to cut close to the hairline, but you don't want to go straight in and cut really close because you can't add it back on if you mess it up. So it's better to leave a little bit of room and work down than just chomp, chomp, chop far too much off and then be stuck. So I'm going to try and follow the hairline. You can see there's a couple of little hairs with darker roots that I'm going to pluck out. And don't cut straight. You want it to be natural. If it's straight, you'll really be able to see where the wig starts and your skin begins. So you want it to just be nice and soft and not too close to start with. And so I'm gonna make my first incision. Right in the middle. And then I'm just gonna take it really slowly and cut down. to just where the sideburn is you have to pull it a little bit taut so I'm just going to clip back a little bit extra hair so don't be too alarmed if you cut a couple of the hairs around the side because also natural hair does come at different lengths around the front so that never really bothers me too much what I think I'm going to do though is I'm probably going to try and pop it on the head to cut the lace so you can get a really good look at what I'm doing. So now she's on the head, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm literally just pulling out the little bit of lace and very gently cutting along the hairline. Once you've done your first go, you can then go in and take away extra bits if you've left too much or pluck any hairs out that you don't like. little little cuts there we go so you can see here I've cut all the front I'm going to give it a little bit of a tidy up but I don't want any straight lines and I'm just going to take away this extra bit from under where the sideburn is here we go so this is it with the lace front cut I've literally just followed the hairline all the way around taken a little bit extra off these sides only because it came out too much for me and then I have popped her back on so I am ready to start gluing. For the gluing, you want to pop your wig off. So I've just left her on the stand and I use the got to be glued. I use it in the gel, but I also know the spray is really good too. So this is just a little pea sized amount. It's super, super sticky. So pop it on your fingers and you just want to pop it along all the front of your whip, whip, whip cap, wig cap all the way down into wherever that lace is going to stick to the front of your head. And then you just want to set it a little bit with a blow dryer just so it gets a little tacky. <music> Once 
once the wig is on you really want to make sure that it's stuck down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check any bits of the lace that come up and I'm going to use a q-tip and some glue to get those little extra bits <laughs> I'm just pressing it down now to make sure the glue has really set and I'm going to use the hairdryer again to make sure that it's stuck. So there you have it guys, cutting the lace can be a little bit daunting when you first do it but I promise you, you got this and just make sure you cut a little bit at a time if you're nervous rather than taking a huge chunk out because no one needs that in their wig. Um, I'm really impressed with the hairline. I think it's all come out really well and I think it's really realistic as well. Really realistic, there you go. Some good words for you guys. Um, I think it's very natural. It looks quite good. And now all I need to do is style it, but I may save that for another video just so it doesn't get too much in one. Uniwigs have really kindly given us a 15% off discount, which is Georgie, so please use and if you do, make sure you tag me in your new beautiful wigs and have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah.